This video is sponsored by Dubia.com. Get 15% off your feeder bugs with code GOHERPING. Good morning. I burned the ants a couple days ago. These things are ruthless. They are not giving up. Look at this trail they're making. It goes all the way down. And now they're on this side. I'm gonna appease everyone. The top rated comment that everyone keeps saying, which is to use boiling water. I have used so many gallons of water. I can't, I've used probably 50 pounds of propane just boiling the water. Now the only reason I'm doing it is because I don't want to put a bunch of toxic chemicals in the coop. I know the boiling water is not going to kill them because I've tried plenty of times. But if I dump boiling water, they'll move, hopefully they'll move out of the coop and then build somewhere around the coop so that I can poison them with something less environmentally friendly. <laughs> This spider currently holds the rank for my favorite in the garage. Look at this kill count. He's got at least two dozen. Good job, small man. The cellar spider sucks. It has one fly. I think I mentioned how I've just accepted that I'm gonna be living with cellar spiders. I meant like as a roommate, I didn't ask them, I didn't like approve to be living with all their children. I keep thinking about the comment that said <laughs> this looks like four. <laughs> That this looks like for very sh shallow grapes. It kind of does, I guess. Especially as I continue to try and cover them up. I just brought this down to dump this grass. Look at this. What even are these? These look like a different type of ant. They just, they almost got all over my hand. I'm so confused. Yeah, this is a different type of ant. Why are they like in the thing? Surprise, surprise. The boiling water did absolutely nothing. They rebuilt the whole thing in the exact same spot. Now with the fire, it's completely gone. So I planted the seeds two days ago. And look at this. The carrots already sprouted. I'm such a good gardener. How are they already growing? They're so big already. I wonder why this side is growing more than this side. Oh, yeah, the broccoli's sprouting too. Okay, these vlogs take a really long time to make and a lot of energy. Now they're really fun and I love doing it, but financially it's not really worth it. Luckily, because of not only your support, but the support of companies like Doobie.com sponsoring this video, I can continue to make them. So for pretty much the entire time I've been owning animals, I've been getting my insects from Doobie. Com. And it's been one of the best company experiences that I've had. It's a time saver because I can just go online and order them and they're here in a couple days. It's a stress reliever because I don't have to worry about them being raised well or arriving alive or being good for my animal. And it's a money saver because getting them in bulk from their site, even with the shipping costs, are so much cheaper than getting them from a local seller or a local store. And they've got a huge variety too. So one of my favorite things to do is just being able to throw a bunch of different bugs at my chickens, see what they like, see what they don't like. Spoiler, they like all of them. And you can get 15% off your entire order with code GOHERPING. So I really appreciate them sponsoring the video. And if you just so happen to need some bugs, it's a great place to go. All right, now for Craigslist. So the guy that came to pick up was the third set of shelving that I was selling. And now it's time to deliver the fourth set. And uh, they're an hour away, so I've got to pull out the trailer. I actually think it's kind of fun to do like Craigslist drop-offs and deliveries and stuff. Like delivering reptiles was fun too. Cause even if like a video does well or something, you don't really see the money from that because it just gets merged in with all the other revenue. But it's fun to be able to do a task. And then when you're done with the task, you get cash in your hand and you're like, cool. It's just, even if it's a lot less money, there's some sort of like mental difference and gratification that comes along with it. So I am keeping some of the shelving. This is actually all from reptiles, like emerald scales and stuff, but I am ultimately just liquidating some stuff. I shipped another, I think I forgot to record it, but I shipped the very last amphibian uh, earlier today. Why is this stuck? I think I'm just weak. does not like the weeds. I was on the off ramp and there was a Model S pulled over. Norm Tesla owners are pretty good about like, I've had Tesla owners stop when I'm on the side of the road and vice versa. 
Uh, so I was looking to see if it was something I could, I would be able to help with, and I didn't realize that traffic came to a complete stop. And it's one of the few times that I've gone to reach for the brake to slam on it, but the brake is already gone because it's already on the floor because uh, the emergency braking kicked in. The thing is the extra weight from the trailer kind of threw off how much braking it would require, but it figured it out. It calibrated for the trailer and everything. I gotta give it a point for that. I don't think I'm that bad at driving a trailer, but it's always the worst when I have to do it into someone's driveway and not hit all their stuff and run over their flowers. I'm waiting for her to go inside because I'm gonna bottom out on her driveway. Oh. <laughs> One delivery done, 165 bucks made. Well, not really, because I paid 240 for the set, but it was used for many a reptile over the years. It was definitely worth the investment, obviously, because you can recoup a surprising amount of cash sometimes. Okay, here's proof it's not just me, I'm at Panda Express. Right on board a fire ant. They're everywhere. I feel so tall. Look at that, look at those plants sprout. I went to refill the water softener with the salt pellets that it requires, but I looked inside and it was much cloudier and filthier than usual. It was filled with dirt and a lot of bugs. I think I'm just gonna dump it out. This is one of the few items I actually have a warranty on for the company that installed it, so I might just have them deal with it. Oh, I'm about to drop it. Yeah, this water is so murky. It's like brown. I don't know if it is with the softener first or the filter first. I don't realize there's still that like chunk of something in there. Like I'm just wiping around the side and it's all just super brown. I'm just gonna put one bag for now and keep this one and then I'll contact them to see if that's a normal amount of goop. Which if it is, that's really gross. And I probably won't believe them. Update, they said it was a normal amount of goop. I still don't believe them. Oh, I gotta pick up all that salt. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, but I might. We'll see how the day, where the day takes us. Thank you.